Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to give you a quick update on our self garden. So we're going to start here at our cucamelon. If you haven't seen how the cucamelon started out at the beginning of the season, make sure you go back to our channel and find that video on the cucamelon so that you can see the progress on this guy. He's looking pretty good so far. So we're just going to kind of take a look here. There's a couple little cucamelons developing. These will develop to be a grape size kind of little cucumber melon mix type thing. I can't wait to show you guys when we go to harvest those because there is a bunch on there developing. So we're super excited about this and we can't wait. And then after our cucamelon, we've got our chive. Our chive's doing great. As I mentioned in our previous videos, we had cut this guy completely back because he had gone to bloom and it was time for him to be cut back. And now he's just grown back just as full as ever. He might even get one more haircut this year. We'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, he'll be left like that into the fall and into next spring to be cleaned up after. And then after our chive, we've got our first trellis here, which has our cantaloupe melon on it and a couple scarlet runner beans. The scarlet runner beans on this one were much slower than our other scarlet runner beans, but they have slowed down quite a bit right now, or sorry, they've sped up a bunch right now and they're really shooting off. So that's exciting to see because there are a bunch of buds on it. So they will give us some flowers soon. But what else is exciting here is our melon has so many blooms down inside there. I'm really excited about this because I can see both male and female flowers in bloom right now. So as long as this gets pollinated, we could actually get a cantaloupe. And that would be really, really cool because those seeds were from a local seed supplier here in Alberta. So that would be really exciting to be able to get the seeds from that and be able to continue that line. And then after that, we've got a couple black crim tomatoes. These ones aren't quite as big as the ones you're gonna see coming up in a minute. But we've got some really nice tomatoes developing on these ones. So these ones should be about baseball size to even maybe even almost a squish softball kind of size. And they're going to be like almost a purple color. So I'm really, really pleased with how these ones are doing. They really like the heat that the garage provides here in this south facing garden. This bed definitely stays the warmest at night compared to our main garden. We also have a couple tiny little marigolds here. They are the cutest things ever. Those are seeds that we harvested ourselves. We didn't get the greatest germination on those ones. They were from a dwarf marigold and they are very dwarfed, those ones there. And then we've got our peppers and a couple herbs up front here. So we'll start with our peppers. This planter here is our jalapenos. They're doing fantastic. If you haven't seen our video on the peppers, make sure you go back to our channel and check that out. And our peppers here have some really nice jalapenos developing on, on there and some really nice big ones down in there. So I'm really excited about this because that just means a week or two we'll be able to start harvesting these jalapenos, especially if we start to see them start to turn red because that just means they're getting hotter and that is even better. And then just in front of these jalapenos, we've got two different parsleys there. One's a curly leaf parsley and then one's just your standard parsley. And those are just nice to have, especially close to our house here and easy access from the kitchen. So really happy with how those are doing so far. Everything we seem to plant in the terracotta seems to really like it. And then just behind me here, there's a whole bunch more jalapeno peppers. So they're doing not quite as well as the ones in the raised planters there, but they are still doing great. There's lots of growth of flowers and there is jalapenos developing on these guys as well. They're just a little bit smaller and further behind than the others. As I mentioned in previous videos, it's all right to have plants at different stages because then your harvest is kind of more spread out. And sometimes that's really nice and sometimes even easier to handle. And then just in front of me here, we have our chili peppers and they are doing great. We've got lots of growth on them. There's lots of peppers starting to happen in here. And we're really, really happy with how these guys are looking. So can't wait to be able to get some of those chili peppers. And then in our terracotta, we have this guy here, which is still our mystery one. I think he's some sort of chili, just looking at the type of pepper here that has developed. It's getting quite large. I'm trying to wait to see if it will change any color so that we know if it's, so that that can help us identify it. I find a lot of the hot peppers have these darker stem centers than the regular peppers. They don't have those darker centers. 
like the hot peppers do. And then just in front of our peppers here, we have a basil and a rosemary plant. The rosemary was, start oh, both these ones were actually started from seed. We started them back in March. And last year we had no problem growing the rosemary. This year we had a bit more trouble. So it's in a terracotta this year. And these guys will be going inside most of these herbs so that hopefully we can save them for next year and then reuse them. We are also going to attempt to keep a couple of our pepper plants and overwinter them as well. So stay tuned for those videos as we get more into the fall and later into the season. And then just behind me here, we have more black crim tomatoes. We've got some really nice growth here on this particular tomato plant. Really happy with it. There's one in the center there that's even bigger than these guys here. So we're really excited with how much growth these couple tomatoes here have. This corner here is just slightly more sheltered than the first three tomato plants you saw. So they're just slightly bigger than those first three just because it's a little bit more sheltered here, not as much wind. And then we're just gonna take a look at our last trellis here. And on this trellis, we have our watermelon. I'm so excited with the, how the watermelon's been doing. About a week ago, we had lots of buds on it, lots of blooms. I did post an update video that showed a lot of those flowers and I'm starting to see little tiny signs that we may actually get a watermelon developed this year. So we're really excited about that. And I can't wait to keep you guys updated on the progress of that. Because growing watermelon in zone 3 has been tricky. That's for sure. And then just on the same trellis as the watermelon, we have a couple more scarlet runner beans. I wasn't too sure if the watermelon was even going to really do well. So I added these here just in case so that we could have a bit of color if the watermelon doesn't do anything. I will not hesitate to remove the beans from here and trim back that tomato if I feel it's causing our watermelon some issues as well, just because he has so much growth and we still have all of August to go. So that is really, really hope. That makes me really hopeful that we might actually get something off this guy. Other than that guys, that's it for our South Garden update. So if you haven't already, please check out our channel and make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.